If it were done when tis done, then twere well it were done. Quickly. If the assassination could trammel up the consequence. And catch with his Cersei success. That but this blow might be the be all and the end all here. But here. Upon this bank and shoal of time, we would jump the life to come. But in these cases we still have judgment here. That we but teach bloody instructions, which, being taught, return. To plague the inventor. This even-handed justice commends the ingredients. Of our. Poisoned chalice. To our own lips. He's here in double trust. First. As I am his kinsman and his subject, strong both against the deed. Then, as his host, who should against his murderer shut the door. Not bear the knife myself. Besides, this Duncan hath borne his faculties so meek, hath been so clear in his great office, that his virtues will plead like angels, trumpet-tongued, against the deep damnation of his taking off, and pity, like a naked newborn babe, striding the blast or heaven's cherubim, horsed upon the sightless couriers of the air, shall blow the horrid deed in every eye, that tears shall drown the wind. I have no spur to prick the sides of my intent, but only vaulting ambition, which overleaps itself, and falls on the other. How now? What news? He is almost souped. Why have you left the chamber? Hath he asked for me? No, you not. He has... We will proceed no further in this business. He hath honored me of late. And I have bought golden opinions from all sorts of people, which would be worn now in their newest gloss. Not cast aside so soon. Was the hope drunk wherein you dressed yourself? Hath it slept since? And wakes it now, to look so green and pale at what it did so freely? From this time such I account thy love. Art thou afeard to be the same in thine own act and valor as thou art in desire? Wouldst thou have that which thou esteemest the ornament of life, and live a coward in thine own esteem, letting I dare not? Wait upon. I would. Like the poor cat in the adage. Prithee, peace. I dare do all that may become a man. Who dares do more is none. What beast was it then, that made you break this enterprise to me? When you durst do it. Then. You were a man. And, to be more than what you were, you would be so much more the man. Nor time nor place did then adhere, and yet you would make both, they have made themselves, and that their fitness now does unmake you. I have given sick. And know how tender it is to love the babe that milks me. I would, while it was smiling in my face, have plucked my nipple from his boneless gums, and dashed the brains out, had I so sworn as you have done to this. If we should fail. We fail. But screw your courage to the sticking place, and we'll not fail. When Duncan is asleep, where to the rather shall his day's hard journey soundly invite him? His two chamberlains will I with wine and wassail so convince that memory, the warder of the brain, shall be a fume. And the receipt of reason Olympic only, when in swanish sleep, their drenched natures lie as in a death. What cannot you and I perform upon the unguarded Duncan? 
what not put upon his spongy officers, who shall bear the guilt of our great quell? Bring forth men children only, for thy undaunted metal should compose nothing but males. Will it not be received, when we have marked with blood those sleepy too, of his own chamber and used their very daggers, that they have done it? Who dares receive another? As we shall make our griefs and clamor roar upon his death. I am settled, and bend up each corporal agent to this terrible feat. Away, and mock the time with fairest show. False face must hide, what the false heart doth know. <laughs>